Dienda was responding to the Landless People's Movement's deputy leader, Henny Sebeb, who earlier on called on Namwater to cancel the debts owed by local authorities countrywide. In support of this, Dienda, however, said not debts of all local authorities and individuals should be written off. Groups whose debts should be written off, she proposed, are those of pensioners, unemployed people, people living with disabilities, and rural communities. The poorest of the poor in our communities have huge accumulated water debts that are practically impossible to pay back. Dienda gave an example of South Africa's Johannesburg and Cape Town that wrote of debts of residents amounting to $2 billion last year. While partly supporting the call, Information and Communication Technology Minister Dr. Peyamu Shelenga accused some defaulters of having money to pay but withhold payment, waiting for them to be written off. Now, when local authorities threaten to cut off this water electricity, particularly during Christmas, because everyone wants to have a nice Christmas. Mm. Then you see some people are coming forth to pay. That tells you that these ones that are paying were really in a position to pay, but for some reason or another, they were hoping they could just accumulate these debts and let the municipality write them off. Swapo's MP Chikoro Toya complained that some local councils deliberately increase municipal services just to line up their pockets. Debate on the motion continues. If the people are suffering and the local authorities are using this opportunity for their own, as it was alluded here, this is exactly what is happening. They push up for their own salaries. When the locals complain, then they, they would uh, revert on uh, you know, threatening, cutting, etc. So there is really merit in this that we must understand what people are paying for.